my beautiful people welcome guys to my youtube channel i'm actually my first video on youtube as well guys so as you can tell by the tagline my name is Juanita, guys and this video is going to be all about skincare and what is your skin type so before I get into the actual video, I just want to give you a little introduction on myself and my skin journey over the past couple of years, guys. So again, as you can tell by the tagline, my name is Juanita. Um, some people call me one. So just in case, if I have friends on here, they're calling me numbers and you're like, why is this? Why is this girl calling her number one or something? That's just something people call me. It's supposed to be W-A-N, but they, but they call me, it's pronounced the number one. <laughs> like, it's mad, guys, yeah? But I'm 26 years old. Um, I have two beautiful children, guys, and I am a skincare enthusiast. Like, I love skincare. As For as long as I've known, I've always been quite on point with my skincare. Maybe not the products, I'm not even going to lie to you. Maybe not the products I've used, but when I got to a certain age where I started noticing different things with my skin and different habits with my skin, that's when I started looking at the ingredients and actually started realising what is my skin type and what actually will help my skin flourish. So guys, the purpose of this channel is basically just to share my knowledge, share my love for skincare with you all. Again, I'm not a dermatologist guys, I'm just a skincare enthusiast. Please, again, anything that I say in this video is just a suggestion or some recommendations of very gentle products. I would always say please patch test any product you use. I patch test stuff that I've been using for over two years. Every time I buy something new, I always patch test because you never know when a product's going to be recorded. You never know what happens within a factory. So I would say definitely patch test. If you have any acne or any dry skin problems that seem to persist over time and it's getting a bit too much for you, definitely go to your GP and see if they can refer you to a dermatologist. Or if you're fortunate enough to have the funds, do it privately and go to your dermatologist yourself, guys. But I'm just a skincare enthusiast. I don't have any qualification on skincare. This is just from the knowledge that I've actually found out over the couple of years. And I would just love to share with you guys on my skincare journey. And hopefully you can join this journey if you're on your skincare journey too, guys. So let me start with my actual skincare journey. So when I was a teenager, I was a little bit fortunate enough to not go through that teenage spot period. Um, I think that's because solely, well, I think that's solely because my mum used to take me to Jamaica a lot throughout my teenage years so i basically skipped that whole oh spot acne flare-up and i feel like that's to do with well one the environment and the climate you get what i mean there's more access to vitamin d there if you can't tell by my accent i'm actually from the uk guys so anybody knows that uk the first thing that comes up to your head is cold and rain <laughs> you get what i mean so i was fortunate enough to kind of skip that out now when i got to the age of 18 when i started uni um that's when I started noticing little tiny few flare-ups. So I always, every time I break out, even up till now, I will have the odd one or two on my forehead. I will have the odd one here, like I've got um, one here right now. But the main place I always get spots, guys, is my chin. I hate it. It's always my chin. I never used to understand why. I used to just say, oh my God, I've got another stress spot. I've got a stress spot. I've got a stress spot. Not actually doing my relays. Uh, not actually doing my research to actually find out that your chin is actually associated with your hormones as well and is actually contributed to stress so when you get flare-ups on your chin it is to do with either a hormone imbalance or stress guys so when i was like a, when i was like 18 i'm always like oh stress spot stress spot stress spot it was actually a stress spot every bit in your face guys so if you find that you get flare-ups at certain designated points in your face it is to do with most likely the internal aspect of you guys. So things to do with your diet, hormones, stress. Um, it even could be to, to do with your intestines, guys. Yeah, like that deep. So definitely research that if you find that you have it at a certain place. And like I said, if it does persist and it's been like that for years and it's out of control, definitely go to a dermatologist or your deep GP to refer you to a dermatologist. So when I started noticing I had all these flare-ups on my face, I did that. I went to my GP with the hopes of being referred, but GP nowadays don't want to refer nobody. <laughs> they don't want to refer no one. But luckily, when I went to the GP, he took a look at my face and he was like, yeah, you just have adult acne. And I was like, adult acne? What, what are you talking about? I never had teenage acne, so why do I have acne as an adult? Now, this his answer was only from a GP's point of view. Remember, a GP is not a dermatologist. He had said to me that some people who don't have teenage spots tend to get adult acne or some people are just unfortunate to get both. 
So I just took it as, oh, well, it's my time to get acne because I never got it as a teenager. Now, that made me even more want to find new products and new ways on how to tame it down because like I said in my IGTV, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is in my handle, my handle is in the little banner thing up there, but it's at Miss Winnie R, which will also be in the comments. Um, I also said that I've never been blessed with the hands of makeup, guys. So literally, when I go out, the only thing I basically do, if not like a few like glitter highlight there like I've got today, guys, is just my eyes. That's the only thing I do. I only do my eyes, like eyeshadow, whatever. I find it really easy to do my eyes, but everything else, like, guys, let me tell you how deep it is. I will watch a YouTube video, follow it step by step, buy those products, buy the brushes. The girl will look beat. I will look like a corpse. Like, I don't know why. I just, I'm just not blessed with the hands of makeup. So, it is what it is, you get what I mean? But with me, like, my face is kind of like my, my skin is my uniform kind of thing because I don't, in, I don't enhance my beauty with all, with all that stuff because I haven't been blessed to actually do it. I wish I knew how to do makeup, but I just don't. So that's why I started taking my skincare journey that little bit more serious. So as you do, you start watching YouTube videos, you start Googling. With doing all of that stuff, guys, I end up buying stuff like cleansing brushes, facial scrubs, um, so many different things that was really, really, really bad for my skin, guys, because cleansing brushes, I was using cleansing brushes so much, and my go-to back then was always black soap, guys. That was my go-to. Any video that you kind of searched, like, oh, what gets rid of acne, you always saw black soap or tea tree oil. Now, tea tree oil is still my go-to, but with black soap, I was finding that the raw black soap, you know the one that's kind of like a lot of kind of different colours, that actually... That actually didn't work for my skin, but the one that actually worked for my skin, which was really weird, was the Shea Moisture. And I've been told that's not actual black soap, obviously, because when you see the raw black soap, they're, they're completely different. But the Shea Moisture one did work for my face. So what I used to do back then is I used to use my cleansing brush, the Shea Moisture, and use it all over my face and all these scrubs. Then, when I started using some of my products, now, some of my products back then were really bad. They were very alcohol-based, guys. Alcohol-based products, especially um, denatured alcohol, is not the best. It's very dry and it's very stripping for your face. So I used to use cleansing brushes, soaps, scrubs, then put the alcohol on my face. My skin was burning. I never knew why my skin was burning. I never understood why. Doing a bit more research, I realised that I was completely damaging my skin barrier. Like, and it's, it's crazy. We would do it and we won't even know because we're looking at all these products and all we see on these products is, yeah, that is this for the skin, it's that for the skin. Guys, we tend to make a lot of mistakes and a lot of misconceptions. We'll buy stuff because either we'll see someone else have it or we'll think, oh, because there's so many reviews and whatever, everybody's skin type is different. So I had to start finding out what my skin type was and what was best for my skin type and then I was doing a whole load of trial and error, guys, yeah? When you're in your process of doing trial and error, if you can get samples, that will save you so much money, guys. Big up Debenhams, RIP Debenhams. <laughs> I said to my RIP Debenhams, guys, because Debenhams was amazing. That was like my number one hotspot for getting so many different sample pots of new products that I wanted to try. And their customer service was amazing. I was so sad when I heard Debenhams was um, going into liquidation. I was so sad. But if you can get sample pots from like places like Boots, guys, I know it's very, very, very difficult in the UK right now because we're like in our... What lockdown are we in? I don't know if we're in our third. I don't know if we're in our fourth. Guys, I don't know. But it might be very difficult right now. But definitely try to get some pot. If you have those um, available funds, those um, disposable funds to go buy all these products, just expect that it may be a trial and error because even though you might buy stuff for your skin type, it might not actually work for your skin type, guys, yeah? So be prepared for that disappointment and be prepared for that happiness when you've actually achieved your skin goal, guys, yeah? So, um, after using all those brushes and stuff, I kind of threw them out. I started to use my best tools that I had, which was my hands, guys, yeah? So every time I was doing my skincare routine, I was always using my hands and I saw a dramatic difference. I know some people use sil um, those silicone brushes. I personally haven't tried them. I'm just in love with my hands. Like I'm in love with my hands now that I use them, guys. So um, again, into like the ingredients of products, I started looking into the ingredients and then I started finding things that was perfect for my skin. 
and don't get twisted i still get so much breakouts now like i've just had a few on my chin i still got one there i hope i don't know if my spot scars are visible but that is a part of my skin journey guys that is my purpose of this channel as well i i want a chemical pill like oh my god don't tell my mama <laughs> Oh, my mom my mom went ballistic she went ballistic as soon as i said acid she went she went ballistic yeah but i want a chemical pill because like i said my skin is my uniform because i've got so much spot scars guys for me it's so like it's discouraging do you know what i mean it knocks your confidence and i know with a skin pill it won't get rid of your um your dark scars straight away because it depends on how how deep of, la of the layers in your skin the swat scars are if that makes sense because remember your skin has so many layers to it so it depends on how deep the scars are but even if i can get like three treatments or one um excessive treatment or whatever just to kind of fade it but because my mom begged me not to that's why i'm on that's why i'm introducing so many new products into my skincare routine giving it a certain time frame and if i feel like that it hasn't actually I haven't achieved my goal with those products. I feel, if they've worked, then I'll continue. But if I feel like that they haven't really done that much, I will be getting a skin pill, guys, a chemical skin pill. And I will be taking you guys on the journey with me if any of you guys want a chemical skin pill too, yeah? But enough about my skincare journey, guys, because we will talk more about that when I start doing my skincare routines and little fun videos. Let's get into the main content of this video, guys. So it's what is your skin type? So, first question, do you know your skin type? You probably don't because you're watching this video, or you probably do because you're just watching it to support me, guys. Love and respect for that. But we're gonna go into what your skin types are. So there are four main skin types. I do class the last one as the fourth one because I will explain why. So you've got oily, you've got dry, you've got combination, and you've got normal skin. Well, I call normal, normal to balance. Um, yeah, normal to balance. I'm not really say normal skin because what is normal skin? Do you get what I mean? Normal skin also gets imperfections. Yeah? Four skin types. This is how you can actually find out what your skin type is, guys. So your face has two zones. You have a T-zone, which is across your forehead, down your nose to your lips to your chin, and also this little bit here just between your nose. Yeah? So that's what your T-zone covers. Then you also have your C-zone, which covers the outer area around here. So first, how you know if you have oily skin, if your T-zone and your C-zone is oily. That's how you know if you have oily skin. How you know if you have dry skin, guys, is when your whole face is dry. So imagine putting on a clay mask. I know everybody's probably putting a clay mask on their face. You know when it's, it goes on nice and smooth and then you see when you're walking around, you're like, oh, don't move laugh, don't move laugh, don't move laugh. <laughs> you know the ones there and then someone makes you laugh? and it cracks all of those cracks that is what dry skin is but in terms of you will see like very like faded white lines or your skin might be very just tight or just look very dry guys that's how you know if your skin is dry now combination skin how you know if you've got combination skin is when your t-zone is a little bit oily or is oily but then the rest of your c-zone is dry that is known as combination skin guys and then you have normal you have normal skin, which I like to call balanced skin, where your face is neither of the two, it just looks normal. Now, how you find these out, guys, this is the, this is the most important process ever, and it's the most simplest, literally. So, you need to cleanse your face. So, when I say cleanse your face, please cleanse your face with either a gel wash. I recommend a gel wash over more than a soap, a soap one, because soap does tend to dry out your skin. My recommendation for a gel wash is this beauty right here, guys. So this is simple micellar um, facial gel wash. It deeply cleanses your skin without it feeling tight. Guys, you see, you see that explanation about your skin is as soft as a baby's bottom. This gives you baby bottom skin. Guys, this is amazing. I've never used... When I used it the first time, and I've got loads of these. I had to buy up loads of them. When I used this the first time, guys, I'm telling you, you know when you keep rinsing, rinsing, rinsing your face because you feel like there's still residue. Like, you see when you shampoo your hair and that you're like, or you condition your hair and you're trying to feel because you can still feel the conditioner. That's how it felt on my face. That's how silky smooth it leaves your face, guys. This is a number one recommended product. You can find this from any supermarket, Tesco, Asda, Morrison's. They, it usually retails between £2 to £2.50. So it is so affordable. It's mad affordable. I'm guessing Superdrug and um, 
boots and all those places do this too but like i said the places that i go all the time is supermarket if you know me i'm always in a supermarket do you get what i mean this is amazing so this is a recommendation so what you would do guys is do not cleanse your face in the shower oh my god don't do it i know some of you are like what is this girl talking about guys trust me do not cleanse your face in a shower the reason why you do not want to do this is because the shower obviously the hot water creates steam now we know that steam or if you don't know it actually opens up your pores to help penetrate so like you see when you put like oils and serums it helps penetrate that and get that in the skin guys but also hot temperatures does strip your skin like it makes your skin very dry so if, imagine you're cleansing your face to give it to clean out your skin and give it moisture but then you're doing it in hot wa hot water do you get what i mean it's not the good combination guys so try and cleanse your face over the sink when you finish the shower another recommendation i normally say is when you're in the shower because guys i like hot water when i'm in my water's hot guys yeah you see when you walk back and the team touch your back and you're like <laughs> like that's me that's my hot water i like hot water hot 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 like that i would say if you like hot showers like me guys open up the bathroom door open up the bathroom door so it's ventilated and the steam is making its way in and out if you've got a fan or extractor fan in your bathroom guys turn that on because what you want to do is when you come out the shower and you dry off yourself do not obviously do not touch your face do not touch your face you can either let your face air dry or dry it with a cotton pad do not use your towel guys because your towel carries so much bacteria so i would say come out the shower cream up your body not everybody creams up their body at night time guys you don't have to if you don't want to because sometimes i let my skin breathe too um again guys if this is best to do this at night time yeah and i will explain why to do it at night time but again, with the bathroom door open, is because when you want to go back into the bathroom, the bathroom needs to be at a near enough normal temperature. Do you kind of get what I mean? Just not to interrupt with your skin kind of thing. So what you would do is when you finish drying up yourself, guys, go into the bathroom, look in the mirror, do your little thing, what you normally do, and then start using this on your face. So what you want to do is you want to wet your face and then you want to put this on your hand, guys, yeah? So you're going to put like about... Um, I would say like a two pound coin size. No, actually, no, a two pound coin is too much. <laughs> I would say like a um, like a ten p size, a ten p size on your hand, guys. What you want to start doing is you want to lather it up in your hand, guys. A lot of us tend to just put it on our face and work it in your face. I don't say do that. It's because another trick that I've learned with skincare: in order for your face to be deeply cleansed, you need to wash your face for at least between forty five seconds to sixty seconds. Now, I find that when you actually how can i explain it guys when you actually um put it on your face just the gel and then you rub it in remember your face is like 3d and your hands are 2d your hands are flat i feel like when you rub it on your hands you get the lava quicker but then when you do it on your face i feel like you waste about 10 to 15 seconds trying to get the lava because your face is 3d it's got so much in and out in your face it wastes it so guys do it on your hands first get that lava and then do your face for 45 to 60 seconds first once you do that, you can um, pat off your face with um, a cotton pad, guys. Do please, again, do not use your towel because towels have so much bacteria. Not everybody washes their towel every week. Do you get what I mean? It is what it is, but um, definitely use a cotton pad. Once you do that, guys, leave your face. Do not put anything. Don't use no oils, no serums, no moisturizers, nothing on your face. You are going to go to bed. I always say do this at night time because a lot of people say that you can just leave your face for an hour. Who has time, guys? Even though we're in we're in like lockdown, yeah, in the UK, we still got stuff to do. Who's got time to like just wait around an hour? Do it before bed, so at least you're more relaxed, and your skin has time to do what it has to do. Your skin, your skin is basically gonna do what you do time frame in a day, if that makes sense. Like in a day, we use up average amount of people. We use up eight hours within a day. So at least when you go to sleep, you have that eight hours sleep or that eight hours recommended. Malik, what's wrong? Guys, do this at bedtime. So at least when you have your eight hours sleep, your eight hours sleep is kind of like in comparison to the eight hours the average person uses in a day, guys. So at least your skin can do what it needs to do. And then when you get up, 
then you can actually assess what your skin type is guys so what you're going to do you're going to do the two most important things you're going to look at your skin and you're also going to feel your skin as well so if your skin like i said all the stuff from before if your skin looks oily all over then you have oily skin or if your skin looks oily just in the t-zone but the c-zone is dry you have combination skin and if your skin looks dry all over you have dry skin but then if your skin looks normal you have normal to balanced skin guys another actually trick oh my god it's gonna sound mad rago but another trick that I actually saw on youtube is you can actually do um it's called the paper towel test guys so what you can do you can rip off a paper towel and then you can when you get up, when you get up from your sleep don't do this like obviously after when you get up from your sleep you can put the paper towel on your face and then you can just compress it on your face a little bit once you take it off obviously paper towels absorb um, water so if you can actually see the outprints of where the oil and whatever is that's how you can also assess to know if your skin's oily or to know if your skin's dry that's just a thought guys but yeah it's quite a handy trick to be honest but guys with skincare as well i have normal skin so with my normal skin it doesn't always mean that i have perfect skin or my skin is always balanced guys my skin fluctuates all the time so there's so many factors to why your skin can actually fluctuate guys so you've got stuff like health so health includes your diet um medication that you're on and also your hormones and stress guys yeah diet plays a massive part in your skincare guys it is literally what you put in is what you're going to get out if you're eating fast foods and stuff like that you are going to find that you're going to get breakouts in certain areas of your skin and like i said if you research the area of your skin it will tell you what it actually what what the flare-ups are actually contributing to yeah um you also got stuff like temperature guys so also like the seasons as well so summer winter all of that it also contributes to your skin as well um temperature like i said in terms of the hot water and stuff like that that also influences your skin smoking guys so i'm personally not a smoker but i always say to people i'm a second hand smoker do you get what i mean i'm always around well not always but i have been around a lot of people who smoke either beside me or in front of me or have gone outside to smoke and come back in and the smoke's on their clothes and obviously it goes within the air so i am a second hand smoker but i'm not a direct smoker stuff like that influences your skin guys also pollution guys yeah pollution and dust now again like i said i'm from london london has so much construction and regeneration going on the air is just so polluted stuff like that can influence your skin so sometimes you might be on the best diet you're drinking at least a liter and a half to two liters of water a day and you're finding that you still have issues with your skin guys if you don't have a essential skincare routine even if it's just so simple it's just a three-step routine or a four-step routine compared to a six-step routine stuff like and you're not exfoliating for example which is so important pollution pollution can mess up your skin anything within the air guys even something as simple as your everyday life so like your pillowcases make sure you are changing your pillowcases because that also contributes to your skincare as well guys you know how to find out your skin type and the external internal and environmental factors that actually do affect your skin guys now you have some homework to do before my next video so if you can do it tonight guys definitely do it tonight again like i said where is it here we go try get this this is one of my recommendations this is like literally one of my holy grails if you can get this or if you have your own if you have your own gel wash guys use your own gel wash another thing that i would say as well if you have sun cream on your face from the day um from that morning i would say and you're washing your face that evening you should have sun cream on your face guys you should be wearing sun cream daily sun cream is an essential yeah it's an essential but i'm hoping if you do definitely cleanse your face first with a cleansing balm that's what i would say first so cleanse your face with a cleansing balm make sure it's an oil based uh make sure it's an oil based cleansing balm guys an oil based cleansing balm it targets and takes off all the dirt and sun cream please make sure that on the label of your cleansing balm does say it actually takes off sun cream as well so once you do that then i will say off after you take off your cleansing balm with a damp with a damp cloth or well i think some of them say damp cloth i use cotton pads literally um wipe it off with cotton pads with a damp cotton pad and then go in with this guys yeah once you do that 
do the whole routine, go to sleep for eight hours, wake back up, and then assess what your skin type is, guys. So that is your homework, guys, until my next video comes out, which I'm gonna be showing you guys my skincare routine. Um, well, all my skincare routines, because I have a day routine, I have a night routine, I have a little spa routine. Now that my girl, girl, guys, I'm hoping you guys will see my eyelashes. This is from my girl at Oso Lash Beauty, well, OSL Beauty, guys. I'm gonna link her in the comment section below. She did my eyelashes and she did my nails as well. But I will show you, I'm hope, well, I'll show you guys my nails closely up in the next video. But these are my eyelashes. Definitely follow her on Instagram and definitely go check her out, guys. She's launching in September. Well, she's relaunching in September. She is amazing, customer service A1. She makes her own products for you to wash your lashes. Guys, she is just amazing. So definitely check her out as well, guys. But I also have a routine for my eyelashes, thanks to her. So I'll be showing you guys all my routines. And then like I said, this channel is going to be about a lot of skincare, lifestyle, talks. I might even do a little few talks on motherhood, guys. That's, I, that's why I didn't really want to label talks. It's going to be about everything because everybody knows I like, to, I like to chat, guys. I love to chat. But guys, thank you for joining me on my first video on my YouTube channel. This is definitely my first and definitely not my last. Please like, comment, and subscribe. When you find out your skin types, guys, definitely comment down below on the, on the description box. If you don't want to comment down in the description box, you can either DM me on Instagram. It's at Miss Winita. It's up there. It'll be down there in the comment box. Um, let's just get a conversation going, guys. But thank you again for watching this video, guys. Stay safe. Please stay safe. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>